Understanding Second Mortgages, a guide for English learners. Hello, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore the concept of a second mortgage. Understanding this financial term is important, especially if you're interested in real estate and home ownership in English-speaking countries. Let's dive in. Before we delve into second mortgages, let's understand what a mortgage is. A mortgage is a loan provided by a bank or financial institution to help you buy a house. The house itself acts as collateral for the loan. If the borrower cannot repay the loan, the bank can take possession of the house. This process is known as foreclosure. Now, let's discuss second mortgages. A second mortgage is a type of loan where the borrower uses the equity of their home as collateral. Equity is the difference between the value of your home and the amount you still owe on your first mortgage. For example, if your home is worth $300,000 and you owe $200,000 on your first mortgage, your equity is $100,000. There are two main types of second mortgages. One, home equity loans. These are lump sum loans that have a fixed interest rate and are repaid over a set period. Two, home equity lines of credit, H-E-L-O-C. This is more flexible. It works like a credit card where you can borrow up to a certain limit, pay it off, and borrow again. People take out second mortgages for various reasons, such as debt consolidation, to pay off high interest debts, home improvements, to fund renovations that can increase the value of the home, educational expenses, to pay for college or other educational costs. Taking a second mortgage comes with risks. The most significant is that if you fail to repay, you could lose your home. It's essential to understand the terms, interest rates, and fees involved. Always consider your ability to repay the loan. We hope this video has helped you understand what a second mortgage is and how it works. Remember, financial decisions like these should be made carefully, and it's always a good idea to consult with a financial advisor. Thank you for watching, and see you in our next English learning video.